Oh, sorry. Oh, hey, sorry, sorry. guys. <laughs> we were just. Um... I'm I'm uh, the 4 a.m. version of Cheyenne Jackson, and this is. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I'm what Steve Pasquale. Me? I'm Kelly O'Hara. Oh, yeah. We're in the Bridges of Madison County. Um, yes. At the I... Schoenfeld Theater. And we want you to come see our show. Um, but for today, mm -hmm. we're going to ask answer some of the questions that you've sent in. This is from Jackson. What is the most interesting thing you have learned about Kelly since doing Bridges of Madison County and Far From Heaven together? Spill. Being actually on stage with her, I learned one top secret Kelly O'Hara bit that she's not going to love that I tell that I share this. She is the master at dropping in the tiniest out of character apology if something goes a tiny bit wrong. So you could be like in the middle of an intense scene or an amazing bit of music or even something really like talky or kissy and she'll just squeeze in like a I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and like no one will even notice except me. I'm a really, really good person. It's so, it's her Oklahoma roots. Jason Robert Brown has written so many incredible scores. If you could star in any other Jason Robert Brown show, which would you choose? Wow. You know what? I'll have you know, peeps, that I was hired as the understudy in the last five years. Out of town with Lauren Kennedy. Get out. Um, I couldn't really sing it the way they can, the way Sherry and Lauren Kennedy and Betsy Wolf can, but he for some reason did, uh, that was years ago. Um, I think I didn't end up taking it because I was doing maybe Light in the Piazza or something. Mm -hmm. um, but I love that music. And I bet I that's where he became sort of your, your fan, um, a fan of yours. I don't know, but I mean, I just, I, one day he's just like, leave it to Beaver. Hmm. That's all I remember. Um, but I would have loved to, and I have a cult, but I would have loved to have done that. And anything he's written, I'm, I'm a big fan. From Christina. Oh my God, I know Christina. This is going to be bad. That's awkward. Uh, what buddy movie would you like turned into a musical for you to star in with your friend Tay Diggs? Oh my gosh, what That's buddy movie? Uh, let's make Lethal Weapon the musical. Tay would be Danny Glover. And I could be hot-headed Mel Gibson. Just because he's black. And we just sit, Are you or we could we could go the other way with it. Okay. I could be Danny Glover. That's a good idea. And he could be. That was probably how it would go. He would be Mel Gibson, and I would be Danny Glover, <laughs> in the suit, <laughs> like sweating. Yeah. And he would get the cool part. But that's my pitch, Jason Robert Brown, on line two. What is your favorite love song? Could you sing a bit of it for us? It's a song. I think I can't even remember who sings it, but it's called Fallen. Yes. Um. I can't believe how I have fallen for you. Yeah. It was like in Pretty Woman or something, but it makes me feel so sexy. It's like called Hat Trick, like the Hat Trick or something who sings it. But it's it, that's kind of my like, I know exactly groovy, the song like, you're referring to. Like Sade version of a love song. I, I have fallen for you. you. How could I know I was lost without <laughs> you? I think it is pretty, the Pretty Woman soundtrack. Yeah. From Dan, which rock star should write a musical for you? Um, I'm gonna say, please God, none. Not a huge fan of when a rock star writes a Broadway musical, I'm just gonna say it. I really love when a true composer writes a Broadway musical. I know it's controversial, Ooh, but God a true damn it. true composer, he said it here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I mean, maybe if, if um, Axl Rose wrote a Broadway musical, oh my God, I can hear the reviews right now. With me, with my like legitty, so you're not all baritone. psyched for the um, for Sting's new thing? That seems like a pretty cool idea, but it's like a out of the box kind of idea. If it was like a Sting jukebox musical, I would not be into it. No, I think he's he like only writing uses original music, and it sounds like a cool idea. <laughs> but the answer for me would be, if I'm honest, none. Thank okay. you so much. Moving right along. This is from Allison. Mm -hmm. If you were on a deserted island and you could only bring three characters you've played to help you, oh. who would you bring? And most importantly, would you have Steve there with you as he's so amazing and we love him so much? That last part I just added. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would definitely bring Francesca Johnson. I yeah. would definitely bring that strong woman. Go get her. Um, I would fall, I, you know, I have an affair with Francesca Johnson. Um, I, maybe not the way she looks, but whatever. She's pretty hot, Francesca Johnson. Well, I'm glad you think so. I think, this is a hard question. I mm. think that I would probably bring Babe. Babe from Pajama Game? Pajama Game. She's sassy, great call. You know, sassy. You know, Nellie Forbush would have a problem with the island people. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably not bring right. her. Uh, the natives, she'd the be na calling them? Yeah, I yeah. guess. And other things. Right. Um, she might even have a problem with Francesca. Love her, but not, yeah, she yeah. might have a problem with Francesca. She's an eye tie. My tanning cream might offend her. <laughs> I might bring, 
Eliza Doolittle because she's she she is strong. She has a, a good backbone, and um, I would definitely bring Regan. Oh yeah, from King Lear. Badass King Lear Regan. Yeah. All right. He would take over that island. Yeah, we would be. Well, you know what? Gosh, It'd be like an island. I would paradise. have to be the softy because the rest of the people that yeah. I've just brought on were are are waiting. You'd be like Nelly Regan. Stop fighting. Exactly. Okay. Nelly's Everyone's not, entitled to coming. a bit of coconut. From Elise, <laughs> the bridges of Madison County is one of my favorite love stories. What is your favorite love story? Um, maybe The Last of the Mohicans. It's so corny, but remember no, that movie? No, I totally do. I was right at that age where I was like, why am I crying? I don't understand. I'm not, my that's foot's a, not caught in a bear trap. No, that's a I'm beautiful. I'm 13 years old and I'm crying so hard at this love story. I think that was the first one that really kind of affected me. This is from Letha. Letha. No. You are one of the few people who look good as a blonde and a brunette. What did you think of the first time you saw yourself in your full Francesca costume? More importantly, what did you think of Steve when you saw him in his full costume? That last part I just added. <laughs> <laughs> and you put more importantly, what did you think of Steve? Thank you, that's very nice. I mean, I think that with dark hair I often look black Irish as opposed to Italian, so it was a little bit of a challenge. Um, hence the orange tanning cream. Secondly, I, I think that um, I enjoy wearing a dark wig. I wore one for Eliza Doolittle. I wore one for um, for Carousel, for Julie. Um, Francesca's not supposed to be a knockout. She's supposed to have lived on this farm and be a little bit tired. And so I have to say that um, one of the challenges and the gifts of this role is to not fall back and depend on um, hoping and thinking maybe I look really great and sexy and beautiful. Um, I think Francesca looks um, like Jessica she's been living, and I... But she's pretty sexy and beautiful. Well, thank you. But maybe I, I because you're living inside of her, yeah. it doesn't feel like that. Yeah, it's a different kind of feeling. Um, I don't love it, but I love it. I don't know how to explain it any other yeah. way. From Naomi, what is your favorite bridge and why? It doesn't have to be in the Madison County. Um, over the River Kwai. Remember that movie, Bridge Over the River Kwai? Yes. So great. It's probably my favorite bridge. They blow it up in the movie. What is my favorite bridge? I don't know. The George Washington Bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge is nice. The Brooklyn Bridge. I live by the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. That's, of course, my favorite One time bridge. I won a blue ribbon at the State Fair, no joke, That's for a bridge. I can't believe it. I, I built a bridge, and scientifically, you know, the weights and how it held up and everything, and I won. First prize. Go ahead. God, I wish you were single after knowing that. This is from Hannah. <laughs> you built a bridge? With cantilevered, proper, balanced, and everything? Yeah, I won the... I won the um... And then you sang an aria called This Is My Bridge. Probably. And they, and they gave you the first prize. This is from Hannah. You're both amazing. Kelly, if you could star opposite Steven in any revival of a classic musical, what would it be? We've talked about We've this a lot. We've discussed this. Yeah. What would it be? We've talked about, you know, Carousel or something, you know, like that. Carousel is a kind of obvious choice for Hopefully. us, ladies um, and gentlemen. You could play the king and king and I. I'm so right for it. I think that since you look so old, you could be Henry Higgins and we could, I'm kidding. Yeah, we could do that. I'm like the, the cougar here. Um, <laughs> although we're the same age, You're just so you know. Kelly's birthday is like two weeks before mine, but she likes Ooh. to uh, assume that she's the older woman. <laughs> Describe each of your leading men in one word. Matt Morrison. Alive. Harry Connick Jr. Brilliant. Paolo Sazot. Jot. I know. Genuine. <laughs> Perfect. I just love Paolo, so I was yeah. trying to make it right. Nathan Gunn. Proud. <laughs> Matthew Broderick. Heart. Stephen Pasquale. Sexy. Oh, God. Greg Naughton. Julie, you put my husband on there. Julie. Greg Naughton. Everything. Oh, perfect. From Molly, what's your current music obsession? A, a British singer-songwriter named Laura Marlane, who is incredible. I don't know if I've introduced her. No, you haven't. She'll be on your... Pandora station shortly. She's amazeballs. From Samantha, <clears throat> how do you balance having a newborn and performing eight times a week? Any advice for full-time working mothers on balancing work at home? And how do you think Steve handles being a bachelor and sleeping till noon every day? That last part I just added. <laughs> <laughs> I go to work and I'm like, Kelly, I slept for 12 hours. <laughs> She's like, don't yeah, I can't tell talk me about it. I haven't slept a full night since <laughs> September 16th, which is my daughter's birthday. I want to say, I, I could sit here and pretend that it's just all, us, oh, fan, fantastic, it's fine. It's really hard and I'm really tired right now. But this show was worth it to me. To, I'd worked on it for four years and it's a labor of love and I felt like things were 
um, in the right place. And so I had my, my baby and, um, and then when she was about three months old, I had to go back to work and it's been really hard. Uh, I have a lot of great help. My husband is amazing and I have these wonderful, wonderful girls, Nicole and Amanda and Anna, who help me with her and my son, my four-year-old son, Owen. And it, it, it takes a village. Fulfilling yourself is not wrong to have a passion and to work because your children will benefit from that love. Yes. What other iconic movies should be made into a Broadway musical? And what role would you like to play in it? Oh, man. You know what's funny? I always get cast, in, uh, in TV, I always get cast as a funny guy. And in theater, I always get cast as a really serious person. So I would like to do a big, huge comedy on stage. And I always thought Groundhog Day would make a great musical. Remember that Bill Murray yeah, movie, Yeah, no, no, Groundhog it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my pitch, ladies and gents. This is from Lauren. I imagine you watch lots of kid-friendly television with your children. <laughs> Which is your favorite? Um, oh gosh, I have a lot. You know what my son is obsessed with right now is Shrek the Musical. On, on and CD? He, this morning he goes, can we watch Brian the Musical? Brian Which Dorsey I James. love because Brian's such a dear friend. And he, think, he asked me if Sutton was a real princess. And then when I told him that Hunter Foster was her brother, all he wanted to do was meet Hunter, to meet the princess's brother. Of course. So this is a lot of fun because they're my friends and I can, you know, totally. I can talk about them. Bart, just for opening night, gave me three Japanese-made films, Kiki the, and her delivery service, and mm -hmm. they're beautiful. Like animated? And, yes, beautiful, and, and Owen and I have been watching those together. From Miranda. Miranda? I love Do No Harm. Oh my God, Miranda, you're the one. Have you ever wanted to star in Jekyll, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? No, I have not. And I feel really sorry for you that you were the only person supporting Do No Harm. Thank you for that. You should have told 3.5 million other people and you didn't, um, and you're not forgiven. Moving right along from my lowest rated television show in the history of te network television. Let's move on then. In the history of television. Yeah, okay. Since the advent of the Nielsen box. Actually, it's been beat. Somebody beat it. But I'd like to have that as my okay. badge of honor. This is from Jared. Hi, Jared. If you could play any other Meryl Streep role, which would you choose? Mm. I am the biggest Meryl Streep fan there ever is. She is lovely in every way. Talk about an inspiration for having children and raising them and, and being in this business and being the most brilliant thing in the world. Yeah. And not being crazy, being um, like totally cool. Would I ever try to play anything the way she's played it? No, but I mean, Sophie's Choice. I, yeah. the, the brilliant, but that's, that's her. So I don't think, I mean, I can't imagine trying to do anything that she's done as myself. Um, you know, I'm going to do Francesca, but the only reason I can, we, it's such an expanded version that we've done with, with different storyline and music and everything like that. That's the only way I can maybe get away with it. Um, but I think I'd be crazy to try to do anything that she's done. I love you, Meryl. We love you, Meryl. Please come to your play and tell 3.5 million of your friends. Thank you so much for asking Thanks us for questions. Everything. We really appreciate it. And please come see the Bridges of Madison County at the Schoenfeld Theater. On 45th Street, on Broadway. If for no other reason, to watch us do this. <laughs>